Have you ever made notes in Word, Excel, Outlook, or Notepad and categorized them in folders inside other folders and found it difficult to keep track of everything, especially when trying to retrieve specific pieces of information? For note taking, there's a better way. It's called OneNote. With simple organization, searching capabilities, very intuitive text formatting, ability to copy emails, articles, pictures, screen captures, and more, OneNote is arguably one of the most powerful note-taking softwares. So how does it work? Let's start by opening OneNote. If you're using OneNote 2010, you may see this page from the OneNote 2010 guide. In fact, I'm going to use this graphic to explain that OneNote mimics real notebooks in the way it's organized. It's broken down like this. You have your notebooks, inside your notebooks are your sections, inside your sections are your pages, on your pages are your notes. And just like a real notebook, there's no save button. Everything is saved automatically all the time. Let's go through the steps together to create notebooks, sections, pages, and notes. First go to File New. For this example, let's store on our local computer. Give it a name and a folder location. Now that we have our notebook, let's create a few sections. Double click this Section 1 tab to rename this default section. And the tab right next to it creates new sections. All these sections are housed within our notebook. Sections will automatically start with a blank page, which includes today's date and time, both of which can be changed. And we title it here. Click on this New Page button on the left to add pages to our section. And writing notes is easy. Anywhere you place your cursor on the page, you can write a note. And if you go to the Home tab, you get the familiar formatting options from other Microsoft applications. When you copy text from the internet, a web page link is included below your note. You can also drag and drop any file from your computer onto your OneNote page and create a link to that original file, or create a copy of the original or if it's a printable document, you can insert a printed copy. Other items may respond differently. For example, dragging in a folder creates a link to that folder and dragging in picture files or pictures from the internet recreates them. Now that we have our notes, let's organize the page. Notes are on pages. Pages are within sections, and sections are within notebooks. I think it's time to get started on your own notebook. And don't worry about not being able to find a note, because this search bar allows you to search any word or phrase within all of your notebooks, so you can easily retrieve information. And that's about it. Whether you take notes for professional or personal use, now you know the basics of OneNote and should have enough to get started on this powerful note-taking tool.